I reached 30 subscribers. Pretty happy about that. I have to do a 30 sub special now. I'm not going to be making a 40 sub special. It's going to be a 50. Okay. Reading to page 30 of Dogman. One page for each subscriber. Dogman behind the scenes. One time George met Harold in kindergarten. Nice to meet you. Me too. They became, be they became best friends and started making comics. Their very first comic was an epic novella, novella called The Adventures of Dogman. Over the years, they made tons of Dogman comic books. Then one day, in the fourth grade, they got a new idea. They started making a new comic, Captain Underpants. Soon, their lives got really complicated. There was danger, horror, and ridiculously con convoluted plot lines. And just when it seemed like things couldn't get any worse, things got better. Hey, all the drama had come to an end, but there were still lots of unanswered questions. Where are our doubles? Where's Tony, Orlando, and Don? I can't believe I'm doing this. George and Harold searched their treehouse for clues, but soon they got distracted. Hey, look! Ah, cool. It's a box full of old Dogman comics we made when we were kids. Hey, I, for I forgot all about those. These. Hey, I forgot all about these. They read for hours. Ha ha ha. I cracked me up. Look how you used to draw. Old school. And look how you how bad you used to spell. Well, what should we do now? Let's make a new comic book. About Captain Underpants? Now let's do something different. How about a Dogman comic? Okay. And together the two, the two friends wrote and drew and laughed all afternoon. George tried to spell more better bad grammar Harold try tried to draw more simpler again bad grammar and thus dogman was reborn a newish class enjoy it chapter 1 a hero is unleashed by george and harold this is actually the 10th page dogman by george and harold Beep beep. Oh boy. My new couch is here. She's a real beauty, Chief. I know. We put it in your office. Thanks, fellas. Can't wait to be the first one to sit on it. Calling all cops. Come to my office. You can watch me break in my brand new couch. Oh boy, this is going to be great. And there's a picture of him laying on the couch. Hey. I know, it's, it's, um, cop, like the guy cop and then the dog cop, actually, it's not the chief. Officer, Officer Knight and Greg, the dog, that's what they're called. You got dirty shoes and dog hair everywhere. You're the worst cops ever. Get out of my sight. Aw, oh, man, chief is really mad at us again. I wish we could do something heroic to impress him. Uh-oh. Page 14. That cop and that police dog are back. Who cares? Aren't you worried about those two? Heck no. Check this out. Draws a picture. Officer Knight is a tough cop, but he ain't got brains. He's pretty stupid. And Greg, the dog, is smart. He's thinky. But his body is his weakness. Yeah, but what if they work together? Hmm, that might be a problem. Fortunately, I've got a solution. Tee hee. So, uh, he's holding a bomb. Help! It's a bomb. Officer Knight and Greg ran to the- to defuse the bomb. Hmm, which wire should I cut? Red or green? Grrr. That's what the dog says. Okay, green it is. And so, snip, he cuts the green wire. Kablooey. Oh no, I forgot dogs are colorblind. Wee-oo, wee-oo. And soon, 
How do you feel, old friend? Rough. Me too. Soon the doctor came in with some super sad news. Boo hoo hoo. I'm sorry, Greg, but your body is dying. And your head is dying too, cop. Rats. I sure hate my dying head. But just when all seemed lost. Hey! It's the nurse lady. Why don't we sew Greg's head onto Cop's body? Good idea, nurse lady. You're a genius. Hooray! So they had a big operation. The doctor cut off Greg's head and sewed it onto Cop's body. What a lucky day. Okay, I can't wear this. This is... Page 20. And soon, a brand new crime-fighting sensation was unleashed. Hooray for Dogman. The news spread quickly. Rats! I unwittingly created the greatest cop of ever. Fortunately, I know just how to stop him. The next day. Well, well, well. So you're the world's most greatest cop, eh? Well, you better watch your step around here, bub. I'm gonna keep my eye on you. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? That's him licking him. Get out of here. Poor Dogman's day had started out badly, but things were about to get worse. Ha ha ha, what's so funny? Today I'm going to destroy Dogman once and for all. How? Tell me what are all dogs afraid of. Hmm? Firecrackers? Well, yes, I suppose that's true. But dogs are also afraid of vacuum cleaners. I built this baby last night. Gee, I think firecrackers would have been easier. Who asked you? Um, you did. Slap. This has, this has thousands of dollars of the latest technology. Firecrackers only cost five bucks. Enough with the firecrackers. This is way cooler. And once I turn it on, it will chase Dogman. And it won't stop until it gets sucked up. Ha ha ha. Yeehaw. Zoom. Oh, Dogman. He pretty much, Petey, the cat, pretty much drives out of a secret lab on the giant vacuum cleaner. Let's get ready to Roomba. Go on and run. You haven't got a chance. This vacuum has 6,000 horsepower, has a 6,000 horsepower motor, an endless, pa an endless power supply, and the bag expands so it can suck up almost anything. When Dogman heard the word almost, he got a good idea.